All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakadash, Rakatham. Double honors to the apostles and elders. Great millstone that, that rule well in the salute and the Shalom to all the Akim that are out here laboring and pushing this truth and all sincerity and in truth. Um, I was just watching uh, the brothers, uh, uh, a Kazakh from the Mississippi camp. I was just watching his live, his his live stream. It's titled "Response to a uh, Sobering and uh, Terrifying Vision." All right. Now, we are in the time of what morning, right? Morning is this. It says the expression of of deep sorrow for someone who has died, uh, typically involving uh, following certain conventions, such as wearing black clothes. Right now, mourning is grief, grieving, sorrowing, uh, lamentation, lament. Welling, weeping, right? Now, what does the scripture say about about mourning? Uh, where is it at? Okay, this is this is uh Ecclesiastes seven and two. It says It is better to go to the house of mourning, right? The house of mourning is what? The house of the house of weeping, lamenting, grieving, all right? Being sorry, okay, all right? It says then to go to the house of feasting, right? For the end of Khan says, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart, right? Now, the days that we are coming in are coming into, what you what you Israelites should be doing, what what you Israelites should be doing is mourning, right? Weeping, man. Okay. We're not in the time to be having parties, man. Okay, we're not in the time to be constantly having fun, man. Okay? The house of mourning, man. That's the house that you're supposed to be in, man. All right? Because the house of mourning, that's the abode of the elect of the nation of Israel. The house of mourning, right? Now, the house of feasting, that's the two-thirds of Israel that's always having fun, right? That's always kicking back, relaxing, right? They don't take nothing serious. It says, it says, uh, sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Mm. Mm. says the heart of the wise right now the heart is your mind so let's just say the heart aka mind of the wise is in, is in the house of mourning and the heart of fools is in the house of mirth see so Jake the mindset that you're supposed to be in is the mindset of mourning man Okay, it's mourning and begging Yahweh Bashim Al to to uh to have mercy on you in that day. Okay, because Jake, you will be seeing some shit that you've never seen before, man. Okay, you're gonna be seeing your loved ones being tortured 
All right? All right, man, you're going to be seeing your, your uh, man, you're going to be seeing a lot of people being judged, man. Okay? Let's see. Second Peter. Three and eleven, it says, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Now, what's holy conversation? Right? Preaching the gospel, right? Uh, uh, um, uplifting. Uh, uh, um, well, I wouldn't say up, uplifting, but exhorting brothers, man. All right, man. Uh, building, uh, building them up, man. All right. Telling Israel to have faith, man. All right. To only depend upon Yahweh Bashem Okay. Let's see. Right in godliness, and what's that? Asking Yahweh about your mouth shy for mercy, more faith. All right, man. Basically, keep this. Basically, keep this. Basically, keep the spirit on you, man. Okay. Because Jake, the hour of be. Because uh, Jake. Jacob's trouble is around the corner, man. The hour of temptation is around the corner, man. Right now, Nate said what? Nate of IUIC, he's he said he said there ain't no Jacob's trouble. And and the IGBK, they said Jacob's trouble is gay. Mm. Let's get this. This is uh Jeremiah thirty and seven it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So who will be saved out of the time of Jacob's trouble? The elect will, man. The elect of the nation of Israel. Okay. Let's get this. Uh, Isaiah 2 and 12, it says, For the day of Yahweh of hosts shall be upon every one that is proud and lofty, and upon every one that is lifted up. He shall be brought, kind of, it says, and he shall be brought low. So who's, so who's high and lofty? All right, man. So who's proud and lofty? Esau, right? And these women, they are proud and, and lofty. So they will be what? Brought down low, man. Where they belong. Okay? Let's say, this is uh, Ezekiel 7 and 6. It says, an end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. The morning is come unto thee. O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come. The day of trouble is near. And not the sounding again of the mountains. Mm. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee. And accomplish mine anger upon thee. And I will judge thee according to thy ways. And will recompense thee for all thine abominations, right? Now, what is Jake doing, man? Jake is doing abominations, man, right? There's a lot of Israelites in the truth that ain't taking it serious. All right, man, because all they want to do is wear fringes and say uh, 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 a shalom, 
shalom or shalom, right? And just post uh, uh, memes on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Okay? That's all they want to do. This that's all they wanted that's all they want to do, man. Alright? They think that's what this thing is about. Well, it's not about that, man. It says verse nine In mine I shall not spare, and neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are that are in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh that smiteth. All right? That's why it says what? In 2 Peter 4 and 2. It's like your 4 and 17. It says, For the time has come that judgment must begin in, must begin at the house of Yahweh Bashem Shah. The house of Yahweh Bashem Shah is what? The ones that know that they are Israelites. Right? The circumcision. The ones that know that they are Israelites. All right, so judgment will begin here first. All right, it says, and what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel? Right, then, then judgment will come upon the will come upon the two thirds of the nation of Israel that don't know that they're Israelites. Right, it says, behold, the day. Behold, it is come. The morning is gone forth. The rod hath blossomed. Pride has bubbled. Slugia. Pride has budded. Violence is risen upon. Slugia. Slugia. Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of the multitude, nor of any of theirs. Neither shall there be welling for them. For the kind of says, the time is come, the day draweth near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn. For wrath is upon the multitude thereof. Jay, we've been warning you and telling you of, of the things that's that's coming uh, down the pipe, man. All right, but you all laughed at it, right? You all scoffed at it, right? You all didn't take it serious. Well, that's fine. That's cool. Because what though? When this day come upon you, right? You're going to wish that you would have listened, man, and and repented. It says this. This is uh, Joel two and thirty one. The sun shall be turned into into darkness, and the moon into blood. Before the great interpret day of Yahweh by Shem El Shah come. Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh by Shem, by Shem El Shah. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh by Shem El Shah is darkness and not light. As if a man kind as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Or went into the house and leaned his hand upon the wall and a serpent bit him. Right? Basically. There will be judgment and danger on every side, right? You won't be, right? You won't be able to escape, man. All right? You won't be able to escape, man. All right, man? And your fringes won't save you, man. Your fringes won't save you, man. All right, man? Uh, you posting pictures of you, uh, um, and your fringes on Instagram and Facebook. That that shit ain't gonna save you, man. That ain't gonna save you. Okay. We've been warning you, man. We've been telling you of the things that's about to happen, man. It says, Shall not the day of Yahweh Bashem El Shah be darkness and not light, even very dark, and no brightness in it? Mm. This is Zephaniah 1 and 14. The great day of Yahweh Bashem El Shah is near. It is near. And hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushah, the mighty man, shall shall cry there bitterly. Right? That day is a day of wrath, 
a day of trouble, a day of distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities. And against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men and they shall walk like, like blind men. Because they have sinned against Yahweh by Jeremiah and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Mm. Mm. Wow. Listen, man, we've been telling you, man. We've been telling you, Jake. We've been telling you, man. Judgment is coming for you, man. Judgment is coming for you. Right? So, so, so if you want to continue to, to follow um, these hirelings, then, hey, man, then be my guest, man. Go ahead and do it. Right, but don't get mad at them for for not telling you, man. All right, all right, man, because we've been telling you, we've been telling you, man. Right, and you had had more than enough time to leave that hireling, man. Right, man, in that damn group, but you decided to uh, but but you decided to uh, stay. So when judgment comes upon you, guess what, man? That's your judgment. That's your lot. Lot, man, is to be put to death. Revelation 6 and 17. For the great day of his wrath has come. And who shall be able to stand? So who will be able to... So who will be able to to stand, man? Right? Because the elect will 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 be come will be delivered and redeemed by Yahweh Shah. So who's going to stand? Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. Right? Now, Michael is Mayaka Allah, the archangel. Right? One of the archangels. Okay? In that day, he's going to stand up for Yasha Allah, the elect of the nation of Israel. All right? And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. Even to the same kind, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. The elect of the nation of Israel, all right, men, and their families will be delivered. And everyone that, sh that shall be found written in the book. Now, who's written in the book? The elect or written in the book. Right, men, the elect and the, the one third are written in the book. Right, and the book is the Bible. All right, this is um, Matthew twenty-four, Matthew twenty-four, and twenty-one to twenty-two. It says, "For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since." The beginning of the world to this time, nor so like you know, nor ever shall be. And except those days shall be shortened, there, sh there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Okay, now I believe through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai that the elect are sealed. I believe that. Okay. Right, man, because things are happening, man. Things are happening, all right, man, and the days are moving quickly, man. All right, man, we was just 
at the beginning of 2020. Now we are at the end of 2020, man. And going in, into the beginning of 2021. It says, it says they should be like man, man, sparing none. Right? And to you, Jakes, they want to continue to to trust in Esau, Edom. Guess what, man? I got this for you. Second Ezra, so I get Second Ezra, sixteen and seventy one. It says, "That shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and, and destroying those that fear Yahweh by Shemel Shai." Right. So Esau will be targeting who? Right. Of course, he will target all of Israel. Of course, but. He will keep his eye on and come for the ones that fear Yahweh Bashem El Shah, the ones that are in the truth, man. All right? He will come for the elect. And guess what, man? When that happens, that's when Michael is going to stand up. Maya Ka'ala will stand up. And the standard will be lifted. Okay? Yes. The standard will be lifted, man. Right? And the elect of the nation of Israel will receive spiritual power, man. From on high. All right, man? You, you two-third niggas, you two-third Israelites, man. You all ain't getting no spiritual power, man. All right, man? You, you all will have to receive your judgment on this side, man. Okay, so you all ain't getting no spiritual power, man. The only ones that's getting it is the elect of the nation of Israel, is the elect of Yahshua Allah. That's it. All right? A day of trouble is coming, man. A day of trouble is coming. Beg for mercy, man. Beg, beg for mercy and repent. And with that, I say, all right, and with that, I say, Shalom.